Okay, guys, so we're going to solve um, RMOP1. Okay, so the question has two parts. Okay, so part one is, uh, well, so the question states that n is greater than one. Okay, and we call a rearrangement of a1 to a, uh, rearrangement a1 to a n of one to n if for every k uh, to, uh, we call it nice if for every k to till n, we have that the sum of the first a k numbers is not divisible by k. Okay, so I think an important property that we're going to need here is the sum of the first n numbers. So this is uh, i equals 1 till n. This is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. Right. Uh, you can quote this. The proof is also not difficult. Um, this is just say s is equal to 1 plus 2 till n. Then s is also equal to n plus n minus 1 dot 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 till plus 1 and when you add it you have 2s is equal to n plus 1 plus n plus 1 dot 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 till n plus 1 so you have n occurrences of n plus 1 so this is just n into n plus 1 and yeah so you have s is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 okay now oh oops by two now how are we going to use this okay so for part a uh i look at k now i consider the special value k equals n okay so now n is odd n is odd okay now i look at k equals n so i have that rearrangement re uh arrange meant 1 till n so now rearrangement of 1 till n right the sum of the first n elements of a rearrangement 1 till n is obviously just going to be equal to sum of the first n elements right so therefore this is equal to 1 plus two, oops, there's no sigma here uh, sum of rearrangement is equal to 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 till n okay which is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. Now note that here n is odd. So this is equal to uh, this is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 n plus 1 by 2 and this is an integer. So this is a multiple of n. Okay. So we but that does not satisfy the condition for k equals n. So therefore n odd implies a rearrangement isn't nice isn't nice at k equals n okay now part b asked to provide a construction so if you look at part b does find a nice rearrangement of one till n uh now here i think the best idea that i had at least was playing around with small numbers so in an exam you just try it out with three with four and you try to find out what's a nice construction so very quickly you realize from above that you probably don't want four to be in the last position so what i did was i put it like this and then i checked it two and one i realized i could just put it like this one two and one i could just swap around uh, now the point is yeah no, it doesn't really actually matter if one, two or two, one. Uh, but yeah, this is one valid construction. And that motivated me. Can I extend this? Can I put six comma five here? And answer is yes, you can do that. Why does this work? So why does, so my claim is that the sequence of the form two uh, I, two I minus one uh, works. I equal, so you just have the sequence which is like this and you have i goes from 1 till 1 2 till n by 2 okay so this is how the sequence would look why does the sequence work you look at uh so let's look at k equals 2 i plus 1 for some specific i okay so basically an odd number so for example k equals 3 is an example so now what happens is that now when k is you basically have all the numbers until k minus 1 and you have k plus 1 so you have 1 2 till k minus 1 plus k plus 1 okay where k is odd is the important thing 
okay so now this is k into k minus 1 by 2 plus k plus 1 now if k divides this number this this is a multiple of k so this is lambda k this is plus k and this is plus 1 so you have that k divides at some q times k plus 1 and we know from properties of division that this implies that k divides 1 obviously that is bad unless k oops uh, which is which implies bad unless uh, oops this implies uh, let's just say that this implies k which implies k equals 1 uh, obviously we have the condition that k is equal to uh, we have the condition that k is not equal to 1 uh, we have k equals 2 till n meanwhile for k of the form 2i k equals 2i uh, this one's slightly more trickier why does this work uh, we look at the sum of the first k elements now this is this is equal to now the sum of the first k elements in the rearrangement is the same as the sum of the first k numbers itself so this is 1 plus 2 till plus k which is equal to k into k plus 1 by 2. Now, the point is, I'll consider the largest prime. Okay, so sorry, largest power of 2 that divides k. So, say that 2 power t divides k. Okay, now clearly 2 doesn't divide k minus 1, uh, so k plus 1. So, I have that the largest power. So, now say that this implies that k is equal to 2 power t times m. Okay, and t is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, this is the important thing. So now if I write this here, so now I have 2 power t times m times k plus 1. And this is equal to 2, 2 power t minus 1 uh, whole divided by 2, which is equal to 2 power t minus 1 times m times k plus 1. And now, hypothetically, if k divides this, now if for the sake of contradiction, if k divides 2 power t minus 1 times m times k plus 1, okay, where m is odd. So this is the maximum. So t is so t is max power. t is max power. Okay, so I have this, but I have that 2 power t divides k divides this number k plus 1 this is the bracket that i'm missing so i have 2 power t divides 2 power t minus 1 times something odd because m and k plus 1 are both odd which means that which implies that 2 power t divides 2 power t minus 1 uh, which is clearly false because 2 power t minus 1 by 2 power t is equal to 1 by 2, uh, not an integer. Not an integer. Okay, and therefore we're done. This proves that this construction does in fact work. So that completes part B. Meanwhile, part A we're done because k equals n doesn't work. So yeah, that's it for question one. Thank you. Hope you all understood the solution.